and Lori from California Elite Fitness and today I have more of my favorite standing ab exercises for tight abs, energy, and strength. Standing ab exercises are fantastic for working the muscles of your entire core from your back to your hips and they're a great energizing break from too much sitting. I recommend to all my clients and runners to keep a pair of dumbbells at your desk and if you can't do all of the exercises just do one or two. These moves will help you develop core strength because you must engage your abs to stay standing tall and stable. They'll challenge your abs and your balance. If you tend to have neck or hip flexor pain when doing core work on the mat, these exercises may be a great alternative. And while floor ab exercises are still part of our recommended workout routine, standing ab exercises are a great way to mix it up. We're gonna do five moves in this workout. I want you to do each move for 30 seconds to one minute. You'll need a pair of dumbbells. And for a great workout, repeat the entire circuit two to three times. So our first exercise is going to be a dumbbell side hinge. I want you to take both weights, just let them hang down, palms facing you, roll those shoulders back, feet a little bit wider than hip width apart, and you're just gonna hinge side to side. I'll do this with you for 30 seconds and we'll start right now. Just let that weight, that gravity, hinge directly to the side. You're gonna feel that in your obliques, that area right on the side of your belly, the two sides. Okay, just 10 more seconds. Reach down, five, four, three, two, one, good. Okay, our second exercise is, tra is a traditional dumbbell exercise. So what I want you to do, widen those feet slightly, point one foot out, and with that side, bring that weight down, palm facing you. That other weight extends all the way up, and then you hinge looking up at that weight and doing an external rotation of that palm of that lifted arm. Gonna start the timer now. 30 seconds each side. Now some of you may be able to bring that hand all the way down to your lower calf or ankle. I don't have great range of motion. I'm doing my best. Always work within your fitness level. And for this exercise, you wanna keep looking up at that dumbbell. I know, I'm looking at the camera. And five, four, three, two, one, great, all right, other side, pivot that foot out, extend that weight down, palm facing you, other weight way up, and hinge on this side, little rotation, starting the timer now. Looking up. You'll have greater flexibility on one side, that's normal, 15 seconds. And five more seconds. Five, four, three, two. Let's do one more. Good, all right, roll those shoulders back. Our third exercise, this is gonna take a little balance, which is gonna engage that core. And I'm actually going to set one weight down. We're going to do a lunge twist. You're gonna start in a staggered stance. And both legs are straight. You're gonna extend that weight out you're gonna come down your stationary lunge and rotate out towards that back leg. Okay, so you're standing in that staggered stance, bend both knees, rotate out, 30 seconds, and go. Draw those abs in, keep those hips square. You're not hinging forward. To make it a little bit easier, you can bring that weight closer to you. The further away it is, the more challenging. Five, four, three, two. Let's do one more. Good, all right. Change our feet. Standing tall, weight out. Staggered stance, bend those knees, rotate out. Straight up, starting the timer now.
Really think about drawing those abs in. That'll help maintain your balance. If you find this challenging, Ten more seconds. And five, four, three, two, one more. All right, wonderful. Our third exercise, one of my favorites. You can pick up both weights or have one weight, whatever you're comfortable with, it's called stir the pot. So, actually this is our fourth exercise. We're gonna extend that weight out big circles like you're stirring a big cauldron of soup 30 seconds each side go you'll notice when you push those weights out to your side you can feel those obliques pr primarily on the one side of the direction that you're twisting or stirring Five more seconds. And then when you extend out, you feel right along the center of that abdominal wall. And now reverse directions. So now you'll notice the oblique working on this side that you're turning this direction. You also get a great little warm workout, arm workout from this. 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one more. Great job. All right, now our last exercise, we're gonna do an overhead pendulum. So feet are close together again. Extend both weights up high. Have them a little bit in front of your face, just to be careful, you don't want them right over your head. And feet facing forward, side to side, overhead pendulum. And to go, 30 seconds. Really try to push that hip out. Hinging to one side, pushing the opposite hip out to the side. Bit of a standing crunch. Nice little stretch, 10 more seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. Also do your best to keep those arms extended as much as you can. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, hit subscribe. Check out our website, CaliforniaElite.fit. We have Zoom classes, a live in-person run team, and I hope to see you soon.